Hi there, my name is Whitney and welcome to TEFL Pros. TEFL Pros is your online source for learning how to teach both overseas and online. On today's call, I sat down with our recent grad, Leora, to hear all about her experience on our TEFL Pros Plus course. <laughs> Hey, Leora. Hi. Congratulations on graduating. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for taking a, a little bit of time here and sharing your thoughts on the course. Um, I was hoping that maybe we could start by just hearing a little bit about what led you to get your TEFL or perhaps what you've done prior to getting your TEFL certification. Um, well, in terms of teaching English, I have taught English in various scenarios before. Um, for the last five years, I've taught a class of Polish students, which started out in person when I was on in Poland on a fellowship. Um, and then it, it uh, morphed into an online class. So that's an ongoing thing. That's an advanced group. And then I, about a year and a half ago, started teaching a Ukrainian refugee. Um, and I also was a tutor in an elementary school about, I don't know, like 18 years ago here, where I live in Massachusetts um, for ELL. And right after I graduated from college, I taught at Berlitz in Madrid. So those are like the formal, but I also like did a lot of editing and my editing niche was kind of um, non-native speakers of English, um, academic writing, but primarily law writing. So that's not really teaching English, but it wasn't a little bit teaching English. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we teach writing when we're, on our you know TEFL journey, so that that pairs nicely with that. Um, yeah, it's been exciting to have you on the course and hear about all of these uh, teaching adventures that you are currently on and that you have done in the past. Yeah. So then, what what led you to actually get your TEFL? You've already got all of this experience under your belt. I'm curious what what made you. Uh, pull the trigger to get TEFL certified. Yeah, so I work with an organization in Poland and we do various projects related to Jewish remembrance in Poland. Um, and I also used to do trips to Poland and that, that part of doing trips stopped with the pandemic. And so I was, I was teaching workshops on my own about memory and remembrance and things like that. But I was looking for another part-time job. And some of the jobs I was looking at were teaching English. And then I kept seeing that it was preferable to have a TEFL certification, you know, and I had kind of thought about it over the years. I didn't really know the difference between these different certifications. Then I, I was coordinating this program in our town, matching tutors to Ukrainian refugees. And one of the women, I, I sent out kind of a survey asking people how they were doing with their, with their two T's and stuff. And one woman said, oh, it's been great. I had such a good experience that I decided to open a business and, you know, of tutoring. And I was like, oh, wow. And she said, and I got my certification. And so I reached out to her and I said, oh, who did you do it with? And she said, oh, I did all this research and I did it with this place called Tefl Pros. It really seemed like the best place and it was great. So I decided, you know what? She already did all the research because doing the research is so daunting, you know? And to get, I love a personal recommendation. You know how people sometimes say to you, Google is your friend or Uncle Google. You know, I hate when people answer like that because it's just not the same as somebody telling you. So I said, I'm just going to take her recommendation and do this. I mean, not just do it, but like I met with you. I got a good impression. Um, and so 
I decided to do it. Yeah. And then you embarked on this, on this journey of, of lesson planning and classroom management and hopping on coaching calls and talking through all sorts of fun topics. So what, um, what was the experience like once you, uh, began going through the course? Um, very positive. I mean, you know, every kind of experience takes some getting used to, right? Like, cause at the beginning you're like, wait, I'm doing these assignments and I'm not getting feedback. You know, it's a little jarring, <laughs> but then like you explain, well, you're going to want to go through it all because you're going to want to refine things and revise things. And, um, so I, I understood that, but I really, really like in particular the coaching calls, um, obviously, because I go to a lot of them. I think that um, it's so great because I don't really do well with online courses where you don't have any um, contact with anyone. Like, and it's as if nobody really knows you're there. Like that doesn't work for my personality style. Like, so I really like knowing that, you know, that I'm in the course, you know, and, you know, I can come in and, um, I think it could potentially work even if I, you can't make the calls live because you can submit questions and then live on the call, you will say, so-and-so submitted this question, you know, so there's an acknowledgement there that you're going through it, but, um, it's just really great because like the range of topics that are covered in the calls is so broad. I mean, anything from lesson planning to job search to classroom management to grammar to, you know, it's just like, and what I really like about you, your style is that you never make someone feel like they asked a stupid question. You always, um, you know, you always somehow find a way to make what someone said uh, positive or valuable in some way, you know, so it's really, it's really nice. Well, it's been wonderful to have you on those coaching calls because you you brought such fun topics uh, to the discussion, such interesting work that you do with all of your students, um, that it's, it's very helpful for your fellow participants uh, to observe that. You know, if they've never taught before, they've never had those experiences before, and they're just starting to take a peek at what that world looks like it's like oh wow I get to listen to someone who already has a wealth of experience and now they're getting certified and they're putting it all together um, and being very open and willing to discuss it so uh, that's been that's been wonderful I are also really like that the course has a lot of different elements to it like there are the coaching calls there are the you know, videos or the course material, both written materials and, you know, you're talking through it and then the classroom observation, and then you have the quizzes to make sure that you got it. And then you can redo them if you want, you know, um, portfolio assignments that make you think about it more. Like they're just so many different elements, which I, th and I think each element has a good reason for being there. So I appreciate that too, that it's not just like read and take a quiz or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Different people have different learning preferences as we know. So it's, uh, it's easier for, for some people to just sit and listen to an audio file and for others, they want to print it off and highlight all the keywords and take notes. And so accommodating that as best we can is important. Um, so I'm curious if someone were to approach you about uh, starting their TEFL process, any advice that you would give them? You mean before they take a course? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I definitely recommend your course. 
<laughs> I've never taken another one. <laughs> I think it was, you know, for all the reasons I said, like, really mm -hmm. great. And um, I don't know so much or kind of anything yet about like the market place, you know, but like I said, I've definitely seen a lot of ads that request TEFL certification. So I think, um, and I also like that you have 18 months to finish and you have 18 months to, that you have access to the materials and 18 months that you can still come back. And I've seen graduates come back to the coaching calls and, and ask questions, you know, when they're already working and they, and they have questions, either question, like specific questions about teaching, but also career questions. So that's like a real benefit because they're asking, you know, someone that knows them from going through the program and everything. And um, yeah, so I, I highly recommend it. 